Hey guys, I'm going to be doing another pod test today and today I have this one. This is the Takanotsume. This is a Japanese variety. Um, it translates roughly to mean like eagle's claw or hawk's claw. Um, this was sent to me by Colin, so big thanks to Colin for sending this to me. Um, I guess not everybody watching knows that I live in uh, Greater Tokyo, so even though I'm growing lots of super hearts and um, habaneros and stuff, that it's nice to have a Japanese chili to try. Um, this is one of the the hottest of the Japanese varieties. Um, generally, Japanese chilies aren't aren't particularly hot. Um, Generally speaking, people are pretty weak for uh, heat tolerance here. Um, but the the ones that they do grow are usually usually dried. So uh, this is no exception. This is usually this chili is usually dried, um, either dried or ground into powder. Um, very difficult to find these fresh. Um, I have been trying, um, and it's only that. Uh, via proxy I ended up befriending Colin and uh, he he harvested a load off of a plant that he'd grown um, so he sent me a nice uh, about half dozen of them in the mail the other day um, which which he suggested put in sandwiches and it's been lovely put in sandwiches but um, regardless very hard to find fresh They're usually dried uh, so let's see, the the Scovilles on this usually range between uh, about 5 and 30,000 Scoville units. So they're, they're kind of medium hot, but they, um, yeah, the ones that, out that he sent me that I've tried are uh, pleasantly surprised, actually, by them. I wasn't expecting them to be hot at all, but... They're pretty decent, yeah. Pretty nice kick on them. Okay, so I already cut one in half. So look. So there's plenty of plenty of seeds running all the way down the middle, um, which might means it might be a bit a little bit hard to swallow. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the whole one just because it looks a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more gnarly, I'm going to try this one out. So, let's see how it is. Mm. Immediately up front, I was hit with the kind of with the seeds more than anything. Um, as soon as I bit into it, all the seeds popped out of one end of the pod and went straight into my cheeks. Um, initial first flavour was very much like a, surprisingly not like a bell pepper. It was um, I got like red apple skins. The kind of flavour you get from red apple skins, um, as well as slight pear pear notes to it as well, which is really what I wasn't expecting. Um, from the looks of it, I expected it to you know taste like a Thai, like a Thai chili, very floral, perfumey. But this isn't. It's more. Um, it reminds me of apples, apples and pears, basically. Um, but not overwhelmingly fruity, not that kind of uh, acetone pear flavour, but actually like the flavour of a real pear. Um, the heat's pretty decent on it. Um, nowhere near up there with the super hots or anything, but it's got a nice burn profile. It's all over the tongue um, and pretty evenly over the tongue as well. It's not focusing on one area. It's not focusing on my lips. 
but it's just the whole top of the tongue is getting the heat. Nothing unbearable. Actually very pleasant. Yeah, really nice. Um, I would... I think I'd use it in salads and stuff, actually. I know that's what, not what it's intended for. It's intended to dry and you put it into your noodles or something if you want to kick it up a little bit. That's a nice one, actually. Um, I might try and save some seeds and grow a couple next year because the way that the plants grow also is really beautiful. The, uh, so the peppers, the chilies, they grow upwards in clusters. So you can imagine uh, they have clusters of quite a few of these just pointing straight upwards. Uh, so quite a few of my neighbours grow these and I've seen them. I'm obviously not going to not going to pinch them off them but uh, I've, I've kind of wanted to try them because on the plant they are actually really beautiful. Really very beautiful peppers that grow on the plant. Um, point straight upwards and they, they seem to just get massive yields on the plants. Um, which for someone who's not a chili head would be more than enough, you know, that's why people grow them around here, but um, I I've, I've focus more on the growing the super hots myself. But yeah, all up, overall, great chili, Takanotsume, the hawk's claw. So a big thank you to Colin for sending this. Um, really enjoyed this one and uh, I'm probably going to go and make a sandwich now using one of these, so cheers mate. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.